And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Zoe Diana. We're going to be playing an elusive deck here with Zoe Diana. Heading on over to Ionia again with our other region. You can see here we're going to have Green Glade Duo as probably the, the best of the elusives. And then also um, Lunari Shadestalker, of course, is going to be another elusive from Targon. Obviously, Zoe is elusive. And then we'll have Sparklefly and Shadow Assassin for our other elusives. And then at the top end, Windfair Hatchling, also going to be a very powerful elusive. So that's going to be what our deck is focused on. Now we're going to want to buff up those elusives. we got Mentor the Stones uh, to do that. Same with Keeper of Masks. They can give the plus one, plus zero um, whenever it's summoned. And then we're also going to have some... Uh, a little bit, you know, not a whole lot, but we're going to have a little bit of Invoke. You know, Zoe can create the super cool star charts to uh, create, um, or to, to invoke celestial cards that cost three or less. And then, of course, Spacey Sketcher invoking celestial cards that cost three or less. And that's important because the Invoke Celestial that costs three mana is the 3-3 three, three Elusive. And so we're going to be looking for that card quite a bit with our Invokes. Besides that, they also there's also the Invoke that's the Equinox that can silence a follower. Oh, puppy's gone. And so that can silence a follower, plus we're playing a couple of Hush that can silence uh, some units too. So basically with those, we can get rid of their elusive blockers to make our things be able to get uh, damage through. A couple of Nobifies and Denies for protection, and that's the deck. That's the deck right there. All right, so let's give it a try. We got Zoe Diana. We'll go play our five games in ranked. Hey, Zizu. Ooh. So the, the power of the elusives is, is basically having a bunch of units that they're not able to block. Draven Ezreal is a deck that's trying to use a whole bunch of removal. And so if they're using a bunch of removal, it doesn't matter if they can't block our units. They're just going to kill them anyway. So this looks like this could be a tougher matchup in general. Um, I like the Shadow Assassin being able to draw a card. That's a good Nopify draw to be able to protect Zoe. And Zoe talks fast. Ooh. So a Scorched Earth down. And something else. Ravenous Flock. Good pill cascade draw. The dark beckons. Watch and learn. You cannot escape. No way. And I'm not protecting Zoe right now, but I do have the backup Zoe. Ooh. So I'm not going to create another super cool star chart. We'll just reduce the mana cost of this one. But having you know, having the protection, like deny and, and that kind of stuff, I, I like just kind of passing. Wow. All right. Yeah, I mean, I, I liked our chances of winning, and, and the opponent agreed. How do you like that, Sparkles? Good job, Zoe. Oh, I look a little Harvey. <laughs> Gotta go with the pupper cam. All right, Zoe Leeson. Definitely not keeping two sparkle flies, and I may not keep either sparkle fly. Cool. No Zoe for them. That is good. That is good. Hey, Krabby. That's my resting face. Yeah, hopefully Hush can do some work for me. Uh, I will pass. Speak, 
Master. Speak, I say. Mystical levitation requires concentration. I wish I had the attack token on turn three. See the world through new eyes. Cold and unforgiving as moonlight. Ooh, okay. That means no um no hush on or pale cascade on their side. Follow my lead. They'll never see us coming. Night descends. I will be heard. All right, so I guess I'll trade Green Glade Duo and Sparkle Fly. I guess with them being able to have Mentor the Stones on their Sparkle Fly. Grace Claw, thank you, Grace Claw. Thanks for keeping that sub going. I appreciate that. My eight months. One, two, three, wins. four, five, six, seven, eight. That gives that gets eight hype boats. Thank you, Grace Claw. So yeah, I, the problem with leading with Spacey Sketcher that last turn is I just didn't have anything that I wanted to discard with Spacey Sketcher. I could hush here, but I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait on the hush. I bet hush is gonna be really important. And so, like, I wouldn't mind them, like, using a bunch more cards on this thing first. Four nightfall cards. Sleason's going to be a problem. would be foolish to underestimate you. I guess I just don't. So I want to use the hush. Ah, hey, uh, backup hush. Could have used it. Like I want to use the hush and then get get the Zoe to attack and deal damage. And then, you know, try to grab another Equinox and Equinox this thing. So I'm at six out of ten with Zoe. Conflict is all in the mind. Hide no longer. It's too late for you. I know blocking with the dog doesn't really 
you know, it doesn't do much. I mean, it saves three life that could be important with a, a Lee Sin, but, you know, I'm kind of planning on playing the Sparkle Fly anyway. So it gives me the room to play that. Alright, so we're at seven for Zoe. Should be eight. Boo. No, I shouldn't have just... Ugh. No, I shouldn't have just sacked with Zoe. It's just that Zoe hitting them, getting that super cool star chart is just so important. Hmm. They probably just grabbed another hush, unfortunately. Yep. I was hoping with hushing their Lisa in the last time that it wouldn't... None of those other spells they played would have counted for it. This doesn't look good. They're just going to get another lifesteal thing. Yeah, this doesn't look good at all. Hopefully I don't find the Overwhelm. They don't seem to have the Overwhelm. to have overwhelm. You cannot escape. Keep running, Kay. <sighs> okay. No, they, they already had leveled up Lee. Ugh, now one mana short. From the Windfair Hatchling. So I'm, I'm one damage short right now also. With just the Pill Cascade. So hopefully no hush and no elusives over there. If they have either, I lose. If they don't, I win. That's that's the game. Forgive me. But they have six cards, so you'd think that they would have a hush or an elusive. Uh that That also saves the game for them. It's too bad. Too much Nexus healing with these little draglings. Oh, they were only going to one anyway. I wasn't even doing lethal anyway. I thought I was. I guess not. Jeez. So probably wouldn't have worked. Yeah, I don't, I don't think it would have worked. Okay, just 
no Grand Plaza, please, because our things are, you know, our, our Elusas are small, right? They're very vulnerable to being, um, to being challenged. I guess we're going to try Sparklefly Mentor of the Stones again. Last game, a big reason why my opponent won that last game was because they had the attack token on turn three with their Mentor of the Stones. That was a big part of them winning that last game, and that could be a, a big part of us losing this one as well. Do you think Nopify is important in this matchup for their different cards that... What's the plan? We shoot them. Mystical levitation requires concentration. Their different cards that just create... Um, those ephemerals that can die. Everything's better with company. Says you. They should block Mention the Stones. Right? Yeah, like that that should I'm pretty sure they should block Mention the Stones. I'll bring them peace. Well that's not gonna make life easy. I feel like I need to keep die keep deny available for like these spells that make the ephemerals. Good thing I did. Because otherwise they get an additional attack. Go ahead, scare me. Must we fight? Brothers. All right, down to six. Hey, Pedicle. Not want to block my mention of the stones. The order rewards its faithful. So I wasn't gonna attack them for lethal anyway, so I wanted to have Nopify available. You cannot escape. It's too late for you. Not sure what their hands all about, Fight for the fallen. but I feel pretty good about our chances. All right, there we go. Two and one. All right, and some scouts. This will be a race. If they have misfortune and challengers, I don't like my chances. If they don't, I like my chances. So I don't know, like this all just seems kind of reasonable. We'll see, but this seems like a decent hand. Ooh, they got shiny Fleet Feather Tracker. If 
I play one of these right now, they would get challenged by Fleet Feather Tracker. Which one would I rather have challenged? The Sparklefly or the Green Glade Duo? I guess the Duo? Because I want the Sparklefly being buffed up by Mench of the Stones. The Yordle here is with me. They'll never see us coming. So basically it's just spending two mana on a Green Glade duo again. Good hand for them. Speak, stars. Speak, I say. Because yeah, this is also a sharp sight deck too. This is this is probably just a tough matchup. From here, I'm expecting us to lose, but you never know. Maybe we can have a good old sparkle fly. Okay, now we're definitely gonna lose. <laughs> now I'm certainly expecting a loss. Dude, nobody will ever kill Mentor the Stones. Like they're just they're just allowing me to block with Mention Stones. Let's get to it. And like before Ment you know, like they like they just have the Jagged Butcher be a 3-2 and my Mentor of the Stones is dead, but now I get to like save two life here. I could even go Hush Pale Cascade. But I will just save that. <laughs> And stop staring. Obviously, Relentless Pursuit's my worst case scenario. So that's the worst case scenario. Alright. Time to get rich. If they have another Relentless Pursuit. Yeah, if they have just another Relentless Pursuit, they win. I don't I don't like that option of like block and it just too many things can go wrong. Love ya. I guess a lot of things could have gone wrong here, also. All right, so Garen and Aurelian Soul. Um, also playing a Zoe, we're gonna want to be aggressive. We're gonna mul the Sparklefly is not really aggressive. I don't really care about the Nexus healing. I wanted to increase my damage output. Um, the Spaces Sketcher can help with that. Yeah, I'm gonna keep Spaces Sketcher. Again, we don't have the attack. This is third game in a row with my opponent having the attack token where it would benefit us to have the attack token. So I'd be looking at playing, you know, Green Glade duo on turn two, turn three playing like Sketcher plus Shade Stalker. You know, attack for a decent amount. Yeah, this is yet again us behind the eight ball with the attack token. Yes, they had a second rally. There's Zeno.
So they passed to... Okay, so they passed to me... I prefer to play Green Glade Duo this turn, but maybe I just... It could just kind of be a, a trick if they want me to play something and then they spend more spell mana. No, we should we should we should play it. Because I'm allowing them to attack with the Zoe. I don't. It's not really a trade I want to do, but I guess it's a trade we have to do. Yeah, that's what I kind of figured. It's the, that's that's what they wanted to do. But that's also not. <clears throat> That's not, like, that bad for me, I guess. Like, that's a good time for them to... Like, if they're going to have a Crescent Strike, I'd rather them use it right there than... Another time. Um, I just don't, I don't have anything to turn on these Nightfall cards. Besides more Nightfall cards. Oh, Spacey Sketcher. What am I supposed to do with you? That's a really difficult hand to sequence. I don't know what I want. I don't know what I can do. I guess I just have to throw away one of these Nightfall cards. And then I'm going to play Diana and challenge Zoe with Diana. Still, still worth doing that. So they take 10, go to 10. They do have twice as many cards in hand than I do. They've really played slowly with just only Zoe's and super cool star charts so far. And I'm, I'm not upset about that. We fight for those who cannot. My goal is to try to win this next turn. I'm seen from the heart. The new moon conceals you from our foes. We do what is right. Hold still. Oh, oh, oh. Stay resolute. Weapons golden as the dawn. A weapon is only as much as its wielder. Man, this is difficult. <laughs> I guess I need to hush that thing first. So basically the problem here... Okay, so the problem with going with the stun first... Because if I go with the stun... Let's see, they could go single combat with the life steal, and then I hush it, but then, then it gets rid of... Then the hush gets rid of the stun, and then they get to block. And so that's the annoying thing here. So I'm going to just use the hush first to just get rid of life steal. So even if they have, even if they have like single combat now and kill like a four one, use the other thing to block a four one. That's still eleven damage. So I think this is a win. I had to hush first if they, if they, if they let the stun re just basically because like if they let the stun resolve and then it's their priority and then they single combat on their priority. That's where I could get messed up, where then if I would hush, then it would, wouldn't stun anymore, and then they could block. You know, there's different times that they could they could sequence the single combat, and, and it, I, I could still hush in response, but it's just in that, that specific scenario is how I could lose, where if I hush first, before the Crescent Strike, I can't lose. Right, like this, I still win here. So if I didn't hush first, there was a chance that I could lose. But by hushing first, I can't lose. 
All right, three and two. We speak, and they will hear us. All right, so there's our Zoe Diana. So it looked pretty good. I mean, both of our champions are really good with Zoe and Diana, and Zoe with the elusives looked strong. Uh, Mentor the Stone, Sparklefly was a nice thing that our deck had going on. Even like Shadow Assassin was uh, pretty decent with us, but just going wide with elusives. We got to see how we got to finish games out pretty quickly. Spacey Sketcher um, didn't have, like, we didn't have, like, the best cards to discard for Spacey Sketcher. You saw there that last game I decided to discard the Windfair Hatchling because we weren't going to be getting, uh, weren't going to be getting there. So we didn't have the, the best cards to discard with Spacey Sketcher, but that's something that, like, Lunari Dustbringer, that's kind of, like, our, our best card to have that we can create this dust to discard, but... Still, the Invoke cards are very powerful, and they're usually better than the cards in hand. Um, we did, I guess, one of the games we had, Ment you know, Mentor the Stones Dying created some gems for us, and those were good discards for us. Both Nopify and Deny were awesome. They were very clutch at different times, and so that that's another really good aspect of playing Ionia, is Nopify and Deny are pretty good in this metagame. So we'll take it. A good, uh, good record there. Three and two. Nothing wrong with that. All right, so there's Zoe Diana. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, feel free to leave those comments. Try the decks out. Let me know how it goes. Let me know how it goes with just other elusives. What do you think about elusives these days? They've really been printing um, a good amount of different powerful elusives recently. Sparklefly, Shadestalker, um, of course, the 3-3 the three, three for 3 um, Invoke Elusive, and now Zoe to uh, tie them all together. Um, but there we go. All right. But anyway, thank you so much for watching some Zoe Diana and I'll see you for the next video.